Hello everyone, what is up? My name is Narayan and I welcome you to another episode of Last Year on Earth and recently I have observed that a lot of you guys got their hands on the chopper tank and can finally have a taste of northern locations and can farm the copper ore and the oak logs. So I thought that I'll be giving you some very useful tips which you can use while farming for these two things and that too with minimum amount of resources required and also i'll be giving you a pro tip about your chopper that you will not find anywhere else at the end of the video so I stick till the end of the video and we are starting right now Okay, so there are three tips for you guys. Tip number one, store enough resources at the AI base in the north so you don't have to go back and forth to your base. This will save a lot of your energy. You can see I'm already there and I keep all of my resources in this AI base. I have clothes here, I have weapons here and I have all the other stuff here. So I will just equip myself uh, for the uh, farming and then we'll move to tip number two. Also, I never take my military backpack there because if you die, you will lose it as well. So I always use the normal backpack. You don't need a lot of uh, inventory for this farming. Uh, this much is enough, more than enough. So I'll be taking all I need. Uh, I don't need you and I don't need you. I will give an additional tip. Use guns because the zombies in the north locations uh, can heal every time they hit you so i have everything and now we will move to the tip number two okay guys tip number two tip number two is that once you start farming go back and forth to your yellow and the red zone this way you can farm maximum amount of resources in single run i'm saying this because if you go to your yellow zone and then you go back to your home it would cost you a lot of energy and then you will have to wait to refill it and it takes a lot of time so if you follow tip number two after tip number one you will have a lot of resources in just one run tip number three fill up all the slots in your inventory with the non-farmable resources except one slot in that one slot you will keep your you will keep the resources that you want to farm after you do this, you will be able to get a general direction. I will tell you how. Once you switch your player to auto, he will give you a general direction for the copper or the resources that you want to farm. That way you have a direction and now you can manually go to that resource and can farm it, avoiding all the zombies. Try to do it manually. Do not switch to the auto while you are farming. Just use the auto button to get the direction of it. And there you have it. Now you just need to repeat this again and again till you are satisfied the number of resources you have. And you will have to use a very less amount of resources like guns and their food and bandages for this. I use it every time. So you can use it too and it's very useful. Okay, so I promised you a pro tip at the end of this video and the pro tip is you guys might know that uh, when you die in farming zones, in any farming zone, if you die you lose all the stuff that you have. But if you have a chopper and you end and if you bring that chopper with you to that location, anything that you put in the slots of the chopper, in the baggage of the chopper, even if you die. The chopper will automatically be teleported to your home base and so the things that are kept inside the baggage. All the things that you kept inside the baggage of the chopper will also be there. You will not lose them every time you die. Even if you die 10 times it does not matter. If you find your body you do not find your body it does not matter. The moment you die and you come to your home base you will find the chopper there and the things that you kept in your chopper okay so that's it for this video guys i hope you liked it please hit the subscribe button we'll meet next time till then happy gaming